So shooters and reloaders are going to go to the range and test these accelerator loads that you saw the video on reloading already. Now we're going to go ahead and test these for safety. Just to see if the low powder charge that we're using is uh, a nice uh, start for these. So that shot was 2385. Well, that accelerator round didn't even obturate well. The recoil felt like shooting a 22. All right, fellas, it's all clear. And yeah, the pressure is really Sorry. low, as you can see. So it's always better to err on the side of safety to begin with especially with ammo like this 22 caliber accelerator in the 308. So we'll shoot the other ones that we have for safety checking. We'll go back to our reloading bench for conclusions. This one is 35 grains of H322 powder. And we can go a lot hotter than that with the powder charge. It's about like regular speed ammo. So we can go with a lot more powder. Now here's a funny glitch. And that is the blast caused the plastic to distort. We'll have to check my chronograph and see what's going on. But the velocity is not impressive. So here are the primer signs of the other three that we loaded up for that 22 caliber accelerator in the 308. So they are really light and the cases didn't even obturate well. So we can easily go hotter with that 322 powder. So we'll come back to the range with a hotter load and get that velocity up to where the accelerator should be. Well, so you see those 22 caliber sables hit way high and the velocities were the same as those. If not, actually a little less. So uh, the sables can definitely take more work, more powder. Well, shooters and reloaders, look at that. No wonder we couldn't get any more readings. The sable, the sable broke the uh, chronograph. Not the bullet, but the sabo that was disintegrating shattered the, uh, the front of the chronograph. We're out of action with the chronograph. How do you like that? Give you another look at that. The sabo plastic hit right in here. It must have hit and bounced and rolled and hit in there. The whole front of the crystal is bent and then the actual readout is broken in there. And this reminds me of the same thing that happened on my last chronograph when I was doing velocity testing of shotgun slugs. The wads, the wads hit my chronograph and uh, broke that one. So wads and sabos will break chronographs. We don't want to do that. I kind of thought the sabo would be staying with the bullet for a little bit longer, but apparently because we're about to uh, maybe about 12 feet away, that was enough distance for the sabo to become a little bit of a pattern. And it only took one to break this. <laughs>